Hi everyone, um, today I will be doing a tutorial on how to insert a photo inside text in Photoshop. Um, I received a lot of requests to do Photoshop tutorials and to be honest I really did not have the time because I was in graduate school. But now um, that I've graduated I have some time and I'm going to make this happen for you guys. Um, first of all I want to make sure to go ahead and let you know to subscribe. Um, I don't want you to miss out on any future videos that I will be posting. So um, let's get right into it because I'm the type of person I don't like videos that drag. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the point. Now this file that I have right here is my template that I have um, in my Etsy store. And everything is already pre-set up. It's size. It has the guides. It has everything you see here. It even has the nutrition facts at the bottom and you can go in and make changes to the text um, but anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the image that I plan on using for this tutorial um, you go up to file go down to place embedded <clears throat> And I'm going to use this one for the purposes of this video, which I think is gorgeous, by the way. Um, once you enter in your photo, you hit enter, and that basically places it. I'm going to move my photo up just a little bit so it can align with my, my text. And then also, you are going to... Make sure you rasterize your type and how you do this is not, I'm sorry, not your type, but your image. You're going to go highlight the image layer. You're going to right click and go to rasterize layer. This is very important to do because if you do not do this, you will not be able to go through the next couple of steps. So you rasterize your layer <clears throat> and honestly, I'm not sure how other graphic designers do this but this is the way that I've been doing it for years so as you can see your photo covers your text layer and it's all about layers and I will be doing a video talking about layers at a later date so all you do is you click on your text layer and you drag it above your image layer so you can clearly see it now at this point you will go to your toolbar on the left hand side and you're going to select magic wand tool which is right here you click on that <coughs> sorry um, you click on that and you're going to select each letter of your text so all you do is you hold down shift and I'm on my laptop so this is the way I do it you hold down shift and you select continue to hold down shift you do not let up Hold down shift and click on each letter within your text, just like so. Now, once all of your text has been selected, you're going to go to your image layer and you make sure your image layer is now highlighted. All right, you're going to go to the top and you're going to hit select. You're going to go down to inverse and you select inverse. Now, once you hit inverse, all you have to do is hit delete button and delete all the um, unnecessary portion of the image that you're not going to use. Um, now, at this point, you just hit control D to deselect everything. Now, you don't see your image and that's only because it is behind your text layer where it says Hershey it is behind that layer so all you do is go to that particular layer and this is what I do you go to the side where you see an eye icon right here you just click on that to hide it um, it's still there but you are just hiding it right now so now you can clearly see your image in the form that you want it to be and right here is within the Hershey text layer. It's in the form and shape of that. Now, at this point, you don't have to do the next step, but I like to um, 
add a stroke to it to kind of enhance it a little bit. Sometimes you can do um, you can do this and you can't really read what it's trying to say based on the image. So <clears throat> with this image right here, you can clearly see it and it's perfectly fine the way it is. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that right now. Um, you click on that layer, right click, go all the way up to blending options. Now you're going to have a pop up that give you some more selections. You're going to go over to stroke right here and you click on stroke. As you can see, it already appeared. Um, you can change the color by clicking on this box right here and select whatever color you would like to use. <clears throat> now, I like to sample, um, I like to sample colors that's inside the image that's there. So all you do is just go over and you click on certain parts of the image and you can sample colors from the image doing this. And this is what I do a lot. Then once you're happy with the color that you selected, you just simply hit OK. At the top, you can change the size of your stroke. You can make it thicker or you can make it thin. Right now, I'm just going to leave it at 10. You can. You can do your stroke to set for outside, inside or center. I usually use center because to me it's more it, it looks more normal that way. Once you're happy with your setting you just simply hit OK. And that's basically how you put your image inside text. Now um, what I'm going to show you now is how to insert um, how you're going to apply your own text and then um, like you want to do your name or <clears throat> something of that nature you can change the text now I'm going to just delete this because I'm not going to need it I'm also going to delete this because I don't need it all you do now is you go over on your left hand side to your toolbar and you select text then you just simply add what you want your text to say and you resize it Now, you can use any type of font that you desire. However, I do not recommend any type of thin font because you're not going to see your images. It would be pointless. So, I have typed in new text here. Once you type your text, please make sure that it is what you want it to say because after the next step, you're not going to be able to make changes whatsoever. So, you go over to your text layer. And you right click and you rasterize your type. Like I said, once you rasterize your type, <clears throat> there's no going back. You can't change it. So make sure it's spelled correctly or it says exactly what you want it to say. So once your text is rasterized, you go in and you bring in the image that you would like to use. You go to File, go down to Place Embedded. And you choose the image that you would like to use. And for this particular one, I'm going to use this pretty photo of a castle. Just for demonstration purposes. Now, again, this <clears throat> we're just going to repeat the same steps that I just previously made. Um, you're going to make sure you rasterize your image, which is very important. Again, if you don't, you're not going to be able to do the next couple of steps. So you rasterize your layer. And then you go back to your text layer and you basically reveal it by simply dragging it up over your text, I mean, I'm sorry, your image layer. So now at this point, you're going to go over to your toolbar here on the left and you select your magic wand tool, hold down shift, select each letter in your text. <clears throat> Once all of your text has been selected, you go back to your image layer and make sure that it's highlighted. Go up to select, go to inverse, 
and you simply just hit delete at that point. Once you hit delete, you just go ahead and deselect everything by simply doing control D and that deselect everything. Now, as I mentioned in the um, when I was doing the Hershey image layer, I was telling you that you can't see it because it's covering the, your text is covering your image. So you just go here to your eye icon and just simply just click on that and it just hides it so you won't see it. Now everything is done. And again, remember when I said that it's important to add a stroke because sometimes you can't see it. Well, this is one of those situations where you can't really tell what your text is saying because of the image that I guess because of the color, the light color, and you just can't really tell what it says. Now, <clears throat> I go to my image layer, right click, go to blending options, click on stroke, and then I want to go to my color and change the color. Now, at this point, once you're completely satisfied, you hit OK. And you hit OK. You can clearly see what it's trying to say versus, versus how it looked before. You can barely understand it. So like I said, this is one of those situations where it's better to um, add a stroke sometimes because it, it enhances your text. So this is basically how you do it. And I hope I was able to... Um, fully get you to understand how to do it. I hope I was clear on certain aspects. Um, if you do not understand or if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Um, also, make sure you subscribe so you can get all the updates on future tutorials, videos, and anything that I post here on my channel. Also, one last thing, if you know anybody that needs a little Photoshop help, feel free to share this video. I'll be doing more videos in the near future pertaining to um, Photoshop tools and their functions, how to remove backgrounds, and so much more. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye.